I'm now going to show you guys how to use alpha channels and lighting effects to create more realistic 3D than Photoshop's 3D. All right, guys, next part of our series, we're on part four. If you haven't seen the other three parts on lighting effects, you definitely should check them out because it starts with the very basics and gets more advanced as we go on. This week, I'm going to show you guys how to recreate the body of this guitar inside of Photoshop where we can bring out all the contours, all the shapes. But just imagine the different things you can use these techniques for and apply them to your own work. All right, let's go further now. Let's apply it to the body of the guitar. And, uh, and here's the guitar here. And if you look at it, there's many, many layers in here. Um, and I built each layer. So I basically created everything. This entire image is 100% Photoshop from scratch. There's no photos. There's no 3D. There's no Illustrator. None of that's used. It's all created in Photoshop from scratch. And you can see all the different layers. Uh, some of these layers I actually already merged into layers. So, you know, originally there was over a thousand layers in this. And so let me show you how I created the body of this guitar. So if we're looking here, we're just seeing a simple body. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn off any of the effects. And this is essentially what I do is I create, in fact, let me go back. I create something like this. It looks like a cast, like it's cast out of iron. And then I literally cut it out, shape it, smoothen it, and just work on it and build these illustrations like I would actually be building a physical object from scratch. Now, all of this starts life, though, just as a simple shape that I use the pen tool to draw the shape of this body. This is the shape I want to use. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a brand new layer. And I'm just going to fill it with black. That's Alt Backspace. Now, the reason I want it black is because black goes all the way back. And, and as it goes white, it's going to come more forward. So I'm going to create the selection here. So just control clicking to load that selection. And then I'm going to fill this with gray. Maybe we could let's have a look and see how much we want to do. Shift delete will bring up our fill dialog box. And why don't we fill it with a 50% gray? Control D to turn off the selection. All right, that's a good starting place for the shape of the body. Now, if you remember what I showed you, I don't want those sharp edges. I want to have a rounded edge. So we're going to blur it. Filter blur. And we're going to choose a Gaussian blur. And what we're going to do is blur that. And then, as you know, this is going to round off these edges. So click OK. Now I want to kind of build it up, though. So I want it to go higher in the middle because if you look at the guitar, and this is the actual guitar here. By the way, how I created this was I literally put that guitar in front of me and just drew it in Photoshop. So I looked at this, it was a digital still life. See how it's curved? So it's not just rounded and then flat. As some guitars are, in fact, a lot of guitars are, but this Ibanez S type body is a rounded curve. So we want to get a little bit of that built into it. So what I'm going to do is command click on this shape. So remember that that's the shape of the body. So you can control click from another layer to load that selection. Let's create a new layer. And I'm going to expand. I'm going to contract this now. So I'm going to choose select, modify, contract. And I'm going to contract this by 100 pixels. And see what we've got here. Now I'm going to fill it with a lighter shade of gray. So we're just going to hit the shift delete to bring up the fill dialog box. And then for contents, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select color. Let's click on that 50% gray, loads it into the color picker. Let's lighten it up a little bit. See, now it's lighter. Click OK. And again, Control D to deselect. And notice what we've done is we've got that. Now I'm going to blur this. And see until it blends in nicely. See what we're doing now is we're creating a nice, nice little um, curvature there. Maybe blur it even more, but let's, let's just continue. So I'm going to control click to select this. Let's create a new layer. And <laughs> I think you know what I'm going to do. I'm going to contract this more and fill it again. So let's choose select, modify, contract. Let's do it by 100 again. In fact, let's do it more. Filter, uh, select, modify, contract. 
because I'm just going to kind of speed this up. And let's do it by 60. All right, so we've got this nice little area there. Let's fill it. Shift delete. Choose a color. Let's go up lighter. See, we're in a lighter shade of gray now. Click OK. And then that applies that. Control D will turn it off. And we can blur it. Filter blur. Now, the reason I'm doing it this way, because some of you might be thinking, well, why not just apply a radial gradient? Well, the radial gradient would sort of work, but what it's not going to do is it's not going to follow the proper contour of the shape. It's just going to make a rounded kind of a blur in the middle, and it's just it's not going to look as realistic. All right, so now we've kind of built up some shape on the body. I want to kind of do a curvature kind of going across. And I'll show you an easy way to do that is I just literally what I did here is I just created a gradient. And if you look at it here, all it is is just a gradient running through. So we're creating some curvature into it as well as roundness because I don't want it to be rounded. You know, you know what I mean? I want it to be shaped like the guitar. So if I do that and then I put this into multiply blend mode, then that starts to build up some more of that shape. And you can see what we're doing here is we're building up some kind of cool shape here. I might want to blur that a little bit. Let's just give it a little bit of a blur just because those edges were looking too real. This would be kind of interesting now that I look at this. There we go. If I went further, I could create some kind of a little ridge around the edges, which could be kind of interesting. Not necessarily what I want, but it could be kind of interesting to apply that. All right, so now what I want to do is I want to put all of this into a layer. Okay, so let's select all the layers. Click the first layer, hold down Shift, click the last layer. Shift, Command, Option. That's Shift, Control, Alt on Windows, and E. That creates our layer. Control A to select all, Control C to copy it. And you may have to go back and watch this a few times. I, I do know this is more advanced than some of our other tutorials. So you may have to go back and watch it. Um, I'm trying to go slow, but we've got a lot of material to cover here and I don't want this video to be an hour long. So um, also remember on YouTube, you can play it back at slower speed as well. All right, so let's go here. What I'm gonna do is create a new alpha channel. So I'm gonna click alpha. There's our new channel and now we want to fill it. Control V, Control D turns off oscillation and there we go, there is essentially our shape. So what we're going to do is go up under RGB, go back to our layers. All right, we're almost there. Click OK. Let's fill this with 50% gray. So that's Shift Backspace, Shift Delete on Mac, on Windows. Choose 50% gray, and there's a 50% gray layer. All right, let's do it. Let's apply our body. Filter, Render, Lighting Effects. Here's our lighting effects. And we're going to change that texture channel to alpha 2, which is our guitar. Look at that. I'm going to go to that point light. Let's turn it on. Oh, if you don't know how to do that, let me just show you. Go up here. You know what? This, yeah, let's grab, it's time, let's do a directional light. So I'm going to add an infinite light here. And if we look at this light, look at that. As we increase the height, See what we're doing there? We can literally see. And now if you can't see because this is in the way, which is obviously happening, Control H or Command H will hide it. And look at this. See what we're doing? We're literally chiseling out this shape. You can go very, very extreme. And that will take it up like this. Now, obviously, it's going to take a little bit of work to smoothen this out. And I, to be honest, I just do that by adding a little bit of noise, blurring. Or if you want it to make it look like it's made out of wood, just leave it like that. And you can see how we can adjust that. Now, if we go the other way, it goes in, but we want this to protrude out. And look at this, see the contours and the shape that we're starting to get in here so much better than what we could get um, other ways inside of Photoshop. So click OK to apply. We're almost there. One of the things I wanna do now is I just wanna cut it out because we've got this cast, almost like a cast iron. So I'm just going to load that selection from the new body. Click to load that selection. There we go. And then I'm going to hide all these other layers. And then all we need to do here is just put it into a layer mask. And look at this. There we go. Now we've got the shape of the body of the guitar. Look at the contours and the shape on this. This is just 
so much more than what you're going to get with other efforts. Okay, let's just give it a little color. Let's go under effects. Let's choose a color overlay. And let's give it, let's give it a nice reddish color, kind of like my guitar. Actually, that's a purpley red on my guitar. Okay, clearly that's not the same color. It's actually cherry red. There we go. That's kind of similar. I mean, it's a little less red, but okay. So we're going to put some color in there. And what we want to do is change the blend mode. Let's try something like a color blend mode. And you can see how that color is starting to come through. And I'm just going to click OK. Now, obviously, there's a lot more work we can do with this. And yeah, this was a lot of steps and a little bit more than what a lot of people are going to use. But if you're going for that super photorealistic illustration and you really want to put in the time and effort, this is what it takes. And this is what I've done to build every little piece of the photorealistic illustrations that I've done. So anyway, guys, I don't know if you like this kind of tutorial. Let me know in the comments. Is this the kind of thing you guys like? Did I go too far? Was this too advanced? Um, would you prefer I stick to more simple ones? Or would you like to see more advanced ones like this? from time to time. Um, I really do love Photoshop. So anyway, and if you guys are new here to Photoshop Cafe, welcome. You've come to one of the best places you can learn Photoshop. I got a lot of stuff up my sleeve, even though I'm not wearing any sleeves, but so I've got a lot more cool stuff I want to show you guys. So stay tuned. Um, each week I've got a new tutorial where we're going to dig out another part of Photoshop. I've been using Photoshop professionally for 25 years. I've got a lot of things I can show you guys if you want to stick around and go on this journey with me. And if you do, hit the subscribe button right now so you know when I upload a new video. Turn on the notifications and then YouTube will let you know. And I upload a new tutorial every single Tuesday. And anyway guys, if you like this, smash the like button, enter this, and until next time, I'll see you at the cafe.